All right, we've created our page of shapes, and now we are going to create a document that will be a template to recreate your fear, pressure, safe, victory symbols, as well as two bonus symbols that you get to come up with on your own. So oftentimes a graphic designer, anyone working with Adobe programs will have many monitors and lots of screen space. Um, we're going to be working with double documents today, so we're going to slide this one over just a tad. We're going to open another document right on top of it, and we're going to use these together. So we're going to go ahead and go File New. This one we're going to call FPSV, and that stands for Fear, Pressure, Safe, Victory, just to remind yourself what we're working on and make sure it's in inches. It's important this time you really do have it in inches and you can hit OK. So as you can see, I can slide back and forth between the two documents and see them both. Um, if you happen to see that it won't move, maybe it's like this, you can't grab anything. Down here at the bottom of your toolbar, you can go to standard screen mode and then you'll easily be able to touch both of your documents and slide them side by side. So we're going to create a square, and this time we're going to create a specific size. We've kind of just been dragging random sizes, and this time we want a three-inch square. So get your rectangle tool, and you just kind of come out onto your page and double-click. Likes to make a little sound there to tell you it's ready. And you want to change it to three inches by three inches. And then when you hit OK, you'll see the exact size square that you told it to make. Now we actually want six of these squares, so I'm going to move it over to the top, option drag, option drag, option drag, till you have six boxes on your eight and a half by 11 document. Now there are ways we can really organize these and make them perfectly set up, but as long as they're nice and evenly spaced, that's fine with me. Now one thing we haven't done yet is we have not changed the background space, our workspace, and I'm going to show you how to change that and why it's important um, right now. So um, if you go to view and you go down to show grid, you'll see a nice little grid set up behind you. And why I like this is it really reminds you what's white and what's clear. Right now we have white squares, and that's going to get in our way when we start sending things to front and back, especially since we're not using layers for this. So let's select all of these guys, now that we know they're all white, and we want to change them to no fill. So I selected them all together. This is going to change all of them at the same time. You're going to click on no fill, and then we want to lock these. We don't want them moving around on us as we're creating our symbols. So to lock these, once we have them set how we want, just go Object, Lock, Selection. Now as you can see, you can click as much as you want and nothing's going to get selected. And sometimes people get nervous about that because they change their mind and go, oh, I wanted to move this one a little bit. You can always go back to Object, Unlock All, and then make adjustments, and then Relock, Object, Lock, Selection. I find this is a nice, easy way to set up a workspace for a project. Um, and we'll get into layers later and how you can lock those individually. But for now, this will be just fine. So we're ready to start making our symbols. And I'm just going to demonstrate one of them. I see someone's over on the wall um, that represents, oh, I believe it is pressure. So I'm going to grab the items I need from this document and I'm going to pull them over and arrange them in here. And the items I'm going to need are three of these big lines and a couple arcs. So I'm going to take this one over and I could go grab three more, but since I, it's going to be the same, I'm just going to use these. I might even need to shrink them a little, so if you need to make adjustments for your symbols, that's okay. And it looks like they have one, two, three of these. This is a really beautiful symbol for, for pressure. I think it's very elegant. So I'm going to get now one of my arcs. Looks like they used the big arc. I'm not quite sure, but let's grab this and see if the size looks right. Now they put their arc kind of facing straight above it. 
just kind of pushing toward these lines, pushing them together. And I don't need to go back and get another one. I can just duplicate this. And then I'm gonna use that rotation with shift to make a perfect rotation here. And there is my first symbol for pressure. Okay, so there's number one. Now you are gonna create your own symbols here, that same ones you did in class. Down here, you get to come up with two new concepts to create symbols for. Um, try not to use a noun like ladybug or um, crown. Um, if you were doing something like crown, maybe you could symbolize royalty or um, instead of ladybug, you could say nature or um, even something simple like small. So see if you can find a concept to create your last two. So you're going to be doing your fear, pressure, safe, and victory at the top and then two bonus symbols at the bottom using only the shapes from the document.